Hello everyone, welcome back to Falling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and inside this game unboxing video we are checking out Spires and Hildegard. This is the most recent edition from the Spires and series and this is a standalone game, a card game adventure. It also came along with as part of the crowdfunding campaign a playmat here as well as a micro expansion pack. We're going to take a look at all of these things during this video to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not this is for you and yes, of course, this is solo playable. There isn't too much on the back of the box in terms of anything to read, but I will show you that there is a slip cover which slides straight off the top of the box, and then you'll be greeted with the survival guide we're going to go through right now. Just before we head into the survival guide, I want to mention that this is a standalone adventure that can be played with or without any knowledge of the previous game. It's split into four chapters, there's 400 cards total, and there's very little setup and minimal components. There's no DM or character sheets or major bookkeeping involved. What you will have is a healthy stack of 400 story cards with over 25 illustrations per chapter, 12 lovely custom etched dice, some cube markers, and a rule book all inside of this tight little package. Now, this survival guide that you're seeing right here in front of you, I'm going to go ahead and go through a number of these pages to show you how this thing looks and how it's formatted. So you'll see when you first crack open the booklet, it has your adventure begin section right here, navigation, the components, how to set up the game, the items, targets and encounters, shot dice, target card anatomy, the wildlife shot dice, everything's detailed out here. And this is the general feel you're going to see throughout the rule book. There's lots of white space, so there's not a ton of text all compressed into small areas. The rule book is also not very lengthy either, so you'll be able to consume this thing very quickly and also with the short setup time, be able to get this thing to the table quite often. It has a section here for shooting targets, a finesse shot over here, wild shots, target card, and scenario number one. Scenario number one takes you through to scenario number two, and all of this is a playthrough, giving you an idea as to how the game flows. You can read this inside the rule book. You have a face-off section here, have a Hildegard hit meter card, and an enemy face-off card there to the right. Continuing through the survival guide we have areas here for blocking the face-off scenario the feats of marksmanship bonus challenges you can go after positive status effects and of course negative ones as well checkpoints then it gets into the area around two players and the two-player overview and also talks about the credits at the very tail end of the book so you can see it's only 11 pages long i mean you'll rip through this thing quite fast with the survival guide out of the way, this is what the bottom of the box looks like. We have four compartments here across a number of chapters with large amounts of cards of varying colors and illustrations. We have dice here in the corner and some cubes. Let's take a look at the game components first and then we'll go through the cards. So for those that are intrigued by the playmat, we have a play area here in the middle. Of course, you have the logo for the game itself, plus some cool artwork that is really well done and really pops off of it. You have the inventory over here, story deck, discard pile, wildlife, and archer deck. Far right-hand side, we got a miscellaneous area for your inventory as well. So this is nice, just kind of keeps designated areas for things, kind of makes the game pop a little bit off the table. Is it necessary? Well, most playmats aren't necessary, but I really do like what it does to enhance the overall immersion of the game. And that's usually why I gravitate towards picking up playmats for my solo games, but you can make that decision for yourself.
So that's going to give you a great quick look at all the cards you can expect to find in the base box of Spires and Hildegard. And we're also going to take a look at this pack as well. It's worth mentioning I'm a huge fan of the artwork and the formatting and the look and feel of these cards. They're fantastic. I enjoyed it from the original experience and now here with this one, excited to dive in. Love the idea that I can get a solo game to the table that has a very small footprint but has a lot of adventure packed into these four decks worth of cards. Now let's find out what's inside this micro expansion. This micro expansion is called Bows and Breakfast, and you can tell just from the quivers on the back of the card art, as well as some delicious looking breakfast, that's exactly what you're gonna get here. So we're gonna flip these over and take a closer look at these cards in this micro expansion. Feel free to pause the screen if you wish to read any of them for their details. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up this game unboxing for Spires and Hildegard. And this is one of two unboxings that I have on the channel in relation to Spires End. So if you want to check out the prior iteration of the original release, or this one here, which obviously has more content in terms of size and the number of decks included, these are standalone adventures that you can go on in a choose-your-own-adventure fashion. And it really, if you're looking for something that fits in a small area, this is going to be it. And if you're a solo gamer, this is likely going to fall into that fantasy avenue that you're probably going to be in intrigued by because I know I was when I saw it and that's why it's sitting here in front of me and really hope this video helps you make that decision as to whether or not this will be a fit for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below for those that already have it, maybe those have already dug into it. What are your initial thoughts on it? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Thank you guys again and as always, keep on rolling solo.